If you want to get the perfect exposures so that you're not surprised by what you get after you press the shutter button, or you don't have to do much post-processing afterwards, if any at all, I hope you're using the histogram to help you get those perfect exposures. There's another tool to help you even more in Fujifilm cameras called the Live View Highlight Alert, and we'll spend a few minutes looking at that here. The Live View Highlight Alert is not found in all Fujifilm cameras. Like the X-T100 and X-T200 do not have this feature, but nearly all of them do. And what the Live View Highlight Alert does is it shows you areas that are overexposed. Overexposed to the point where the highlight areas are blown out or clipped. Now, what do we mean by that? Blowing out the highlights or clipping the highlights means that when the brightest areas of your photo are so overexposed that they appear pure white, you have lost all detail and texture and color in those areas. Just imagine you're taking some pictures of some interesting clouds. And those clouds have a lot of texture, a lot of different tones, uh, ranges from grays to whites uh, to really you know, give them this three-dimensional feeling. Well, if you overexpose those to the point where those clouds are clipped, now those clouds are going to appear as just blobs of pure white. They won't have any character or depth at all. They'll just be white shapes in the sky. And that is what the Live View Highlight Alert is intended to help us with. To say, hey dummy, check your exposure. You have some areas here that are overexposed to the point where they are pure white. Now, sometimes we certainly want to have overexposed areas in our photo when you're doing it intentionally, like if you're creating a silhouette or if you have some bright light sources like a light bulb or the sun, those of course are going to be blown out or pure white. But most of the time we try to avoid this and that's what the Live View Highlight Alert can help us with. There are two ways to set up the Live View Highlight Alert. And the first one is how I had my camera set up for years. If you go into the Setup menu, Screen Setup, Display Custom Setting, and then put a little check mark next to Live View Highlight Alert, you will always get this warning in shooting mode when you have overexposed areas. You'll see those blinking black and white areas whenever you have blown out highlights. Now, after a while, I kind of found this a little bit annoying, especially when I did want to intentionally overexpose something. So there's another little hidden way where you can bring up the Live View Highlight Alert on demand, and that's to program a custom function control to the histogram function. So the way I have my X-T4 set up, when I press the up selector button, then I get this large, RGB histogram that I can use to refine my exposure even better than the little one that's normally there on the screen. And it also gives me the live view highlight alert. So I know if I'm overexposed anywhere. And then I can refine my exposure and then turn it back off. To program this, you'll go to your setup menu, button dial setting, function FN setting, and then just highlight the control that you want to use to activate the histogram. It can be either a button or one of the touch controls. Highlight that and then select histogram. And then for actually using the Live View Highlight Alert for exposure. If you're recording the JPEG file format or both the RAW and the JPEG, you're going to want to know when that JPEG file is clipping. You're usually gonna to start to blow out the highlights in the JPEG file before it happens in the RAW file. So it's going to be the more restrictive of the two. So you're going to want to make sure that you're seeing what the JPEG file is going to look like in your live view. So go to your screen setup menu and depending on the camera, you'll either want to turn on the preview pick effect found in older cameras or turn off the natural live view found in newer cameras. If we compare where those blinking areas are in the camera's live view to where Lightroom shows us that the highlights are clipping, you can see that they're actually really, really close. When you see those blinking areas, those areas are indeed pure white or pretty close to it. Uh, there's not like this buffer area that, you know, if you're coming from a Sony camera, you'll actually get this warning before those highlights are blown out. 
But in Fujifilm cameras, that happens at that RGB value of 255 or pure white. So once you see those, if you do not want those areas to appear pure white, just bring your exposure back down just until they disappear. Unless, again, you are intentionally overexposing those areas. If you only care about the raw file, if you're using the exposing to the right technique and want to know how far you can push that exposure until your highlights are clipped, then you'll want to know what your raw file is going to look like. So go back into that screen setup menu and turn the preview pick effect off in older cameras or turn on the natural live view in newer cameras. And then another setting you'll want to turn off is dynamic range. So set your dynamic range setting to 100 or off so that you will just get a regular raw file and a normal live view. And now when you're exposing the raw file, you can keep pushing that exposure to the right just until you start to see those blinking areas. Once you see them, bring your exposure back down at least a third of a stop or until they're all gone. And that will help guarantee that none of those highlight areas are blown out. So take advantage of the live view highlight alert, whether you're recording the raw file or the JPEG file, to make sure that you are not overexposing any areas of your photo that you don't want overexposed. So you're not losing any detail, texture, or color in those areas. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Go out and make some great photos, and I'll see you on the next one.